Recently, I got this comment on one of my videos. What I feel the most is that Americans are shallow, hypocrites, and very childish in their reactions. Basically fake and falsely happy, but rarely honest. The Czech people may seem rude, but in fact, they just don't use their fake social happy masks. Can you confirm that after your time in Czechia? Ouch! So in today's video, we're going to dissect these stereotypes to see if there's any truth to the myths that Czechs are rude and Americans are fake. Disclaimer, I live in Prague and I'm from Los Angeles. And those are big cities that are not representative of their respective countries. In fact, Praguers are known to be particularly rude and Angelinos are known to be particularly fake. So this is going to be interesting. Let's dive in. Americans get the impression that Czechs are rude because they don't smile. They can smile. They have the face muscles. They just don't. Americans smile at everyone, even strangers on the street. Smiling is not only how Americans show off their big white teeth. It's how we know the other guy isn't going to shoot us. I often find myself walking down the sidewalk in Prague, trying to catch the eye of the other guy in the crosswalk walking towards me to see if I can make him smile. It has become my challenge, my personal mission, a passive aggressive way to let him know that American culture is coming to take over his country and there's nothing he can do to stop it. Czechs might not smile, but they have a very specific sense of humor, or so they keep telling me. From what I can understand of it, they like to make politically incorrect jokes about feminist vegetarians, police, politicians, Polacks, Slovaks, Americans, Russians, domestic abuse, cannibalism, people from Brno, and gypsies. I, I mean Roma. Roma. If there's anything that will get an American to stop smiling, it's a politically incorrect joke. That smile will get you canceled. One thing that confuses Czechs is why Americans are always asking, how are you? Even when they first meet. Hi, how are you? How am I? Confused. Why do you want to know? Czechs are more reserved than Americans, and they think, how are you, is a literal question and way too personal for them. What Czechs don't understand is that we really don't want an honest answer. But they'll give us an honest answer, and it's usually negative. Well, I think my neighbor poisoned my goat, and my bunions, they won't go away. And my husband, he won't get off the couch. An honest answer to that question is way too personal for Americans. And I've got this rash on my elbow. When dealing with Americans, always keep things positive and superficial. And if you can't think of anything positive to say, just try to smile. It's good exercise for your face muscles. Czechs think small talk is stupid and don't understand why we can't just get to the point. If you engage in small talk with a Czech, they will usually answer in a way that makes you feel kind of stupid. Ooh, it's so cold outside. Well, yes, it's winter. Or they'll use this as an opportunity to create some controversy worth arguing over. This is not cold. This is only because you are from California and you do not understand true winter. These uncomfortable reactions are your punishment for wasting their time with something so unoriginal. Next time, talk about something that really interests you. Or for extra points, bring up sports or political scandals. Or tell them a dark joke, and the interaction will go much better. Most Czechs are astonished when they hear a foreigner trying to speak their language. First, it's one of the hardest languages in the world to learn. And second, they don't understand what the f you're saying. Uh, Prometa, gde je mleko? Soje? Here's my theory. Not many people attempt to speak Czech, so Czechs aren't used to hearing terrible accents and pronunciations of their language. When they do figure out what you're trying to say, they'll let you know how bad your pronunciation is. Yo, mleko! Yo, mleko! 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 Americans are used to hearing people from all over the world try to speak English. So our ears are more attuned to various bad accents and pronunciations. 
We would never correct your English unless you specifically asked for it. I don't even like to correct my students after class when we're hanging out in the pub. It feels rude and exclusive, like their English isn't good enough to be real English. But what is real English anyway? After all, if British people can get away with sounding like this... I know when people see England, they expect you to talk they keep like, oh, let's go for tea and crumpets, oh. It's not like that, not everywhere, anyway. Then your Czech accent is just fine. All cultures have their forte. Americans are expert in customer service. Czechs are not. You might attribute this to the tipping culture in the United States. I was a waitress while in university and my salary depended mostly on my tips. So I was incentivized to be very friendly. My restaurant training gave me a list of all the friendly things I had to say. How many times I should visit each table, how often I should refill their water glasses, for free, how many dish variations I should offer them, etc. Sure, I'm being fake. I don't really care how you like your hamburger. But if you're a satisfied customer, then I can pay my rent. On the other hand, it can be irritating to have a waitress constantly hovering over you. How's the food? Czech waitresses are not there to make your dining experience a delightful one. They're there to chat on the phone, to complain about your table to the bartender, and occasionally to refill your beer glasses, which is really the most important task, am I right? I can't tell if Czechs are unhelpful or if they're just challenging us to try to solve our problems on our own. For example, if I said to a Czech person in a shopping mall, excuse me, is the bathroom over there? Nah. They'll answer your question without actually trying to help you solve your problem. That way? Nah. I'm really talking about the Czech bureaucrats here. Every time I go to the Urzad, it's like a game of survival foreigner edition. In next week's episode, Jen tries to apply for a visa. Can she make it past Panibel Shitova in the Urzad? The bureaucrats have no desire to help you solve your problem in an efficient manner. In fact, they don't even see your problem in its entirety. They see it as a sequence of small opportunities where they can thwart your efforts for sport. The worst enemy of an unhelpful Czech bureaucrat is an American woman with a can-do attitude. Hello, I was told to return today so you could help me solve my problem. Nah. But there must be some way you can help me solve my problem. Nah. In America, she learns that where there's a will, there's a way. Maybe, maybe your colleague over there. Maybe he knows the answer. Nah. Can I speak to your manager? <sighs> to speak to manager, you must fill in this form and return on Tuesday. Penny Bolshitova has to show up to that government office every week, so why shouldn't you too? If she doesn't make you return to the Urzad three times for the same problem, then she hasn't earned her government salary. Part of the problem here is language, and we can illustrate this problem on the Czech English matrix. If the bureaucrat speaks some English, they will be very helpful because they can practice their English with you. If you try to speak Czech, the bureaucrat is mostly happy to help you get through the situation. Just don't smile or you might turn them off. If they don't speak any English and you don't speak any Czech, you're They're not even gonna tell you where the emergency exit is during a fire. The lesson, learn some Czech if you wanna stay alive here. Czechs have a mostly deserved reputation for being unwelcoming to foreigners. To be fair, in the past, when foreigners have come to the beautiful Czech lands, they've just decided to stay and take over. First it was the Austrians, and then the Germans, and then the Russians. Now it's the Americans with their damn smiles. Czech people will admit to a bit of selective racism, depending on the nationality of the foreigner. Basically, unless you're Vietnamese, Canadian, American, or pan-European. Even then, you'll only get an unenthusiastic shrug. 
point de l'eau. America, on the other hand, is supposed to be the land of immigrants. Welcoming immigrants is part of our DNA. We welcome the tired and the poor, but this is mainly a marketing slogan. Immigration in the United States is like a game of musical chairs, or maybe the check game, box, box, move. There's always a guy without a chair. Every American has a story about when their immigrant relative arrived. The earlier they got there, the more American they think they are. It's a lot of hard work to succeed in the United States. And if you're not satisfied with your job or your place in society, it's easy to blame the guy who just arrived last Tuesday. One note, if you're American and you think that Czechs are rude to foreigners, I want you to imagine for one second what would happen if a Czech person arrived in Texas or Alabama and went up to people speaking nothing but Czech and then criticized the local's attitude? How long do you think he'd last? Get a rope. Sometimes when Czechs are speaking English to us, they seem really bored, very disinterested, even grumpy. When I used to teach English to Czechs for many hours a day, I couldn't escape the cloud of despair that came from their interactions with me. Why don't they like me? I try so hard. Then I listened to an interview with a Czech professor of phonetics who said that English speaking Czechs aren't grumpy. They sound disinterested because they speak English with a monotonous tone or rhythm. The same rhythm they use to speak Czech. On the other hand, he said when Americans try to speak Czech, they put the emphasis on important words. So it sounds more melodic, like English. And this sounds exaggerated and insincere to Czechs. Ja vam zni jako šaška? Is it possible that all of this has just been one big misunderstanding? Is it possible that both Czechs and Americans are both good people who just misinterpret each other's behavior? Personally, I don't think Czechs are rude. As an immigrant who's been here for over eight years, I find them mostly to be lovely people once you get to know them. Or maybe I'm just being American. Now that I've offended pretty much every one of my viewers, tell me how I've offended you in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Uvidime se příští týden. Ciao.